Hey, this is Mike with RPS Solar Pumps. We've gotten a lot of solar questions over the last couple of months. Today I'm going to go through those and answer some of the most common questions. Today's question is, can you do a pressurized water system without a large pressure tank? So we have a system called the TPP system. That stands for the tankless pressure pump. And this was designed specifically to be a solar off-grid water pressurization system. And so from there, we can pump out of a storage tank, a stream, a lake, and provide pressurized water to where it's needed, whether it's irrigation sprinklers, livestock, your house, anywhere else you would commonly use pressurized water. The secret to this system is we have a constant pressure pump. And so what we actually do is we adjust the speed of the motor to match the water pressure and volume required at any given time. The motor can react really quickly. And so if the water demand changes, it can quickly ramp up in speed or ramp down in speed to maintain constant pressure. With that technology, we can eliminate the large pressure tank. So instead of spending 500 to 1,000 plus dollars on a couple of large pressure tanks, we can use our constant pressure TPP system to provide pressurized water wherever it's needed. So with a classic pressurized system using say an AC pump, there's a lot of different components we're gonna have to get and piece together for a full system. So we're gonna need the pump, that's pretty obvious. We're gonna need a pressure tank and sometimes we're gonna need multiple pressure tanks. So depending on our exact water usage, we may need like one 40 gallon tank or we may need a 100 gallon tank or multiple 100 gallon tanks in order to fulfill our needs. We need to make sure that's sized appropriately so we don't cycle our pump on and off too frequently with a classic AC style pump. Then we have our tank tees, we have our pressure switches, we also have over pressurization valves. There's a couple other things going on in the system. So we need to get all that together, plumb it, and get it set up to run with our AC pump. With the tankless pressure pump, we eliminate all of that complexity. With that pump, we simply plumb it into our water source, give it power using our TPV controller and batteries, or we directly to AC, and it simply runs and provides pressure. From there, we can hook up a hose and a sprayer and it's ready to run, or we can hook it directly up to sprinklers. We can also quickly adjust the pressure. If we want more pressure, we just turn it up, and if we want less pressure, say for drip irrigation, we can turn it down to our 20 PSI and provide perfect constant pressure to our entire irrigation system. The three most common applications for a TPP system would be first and foremost off-grid living. So if you have an off-grid cabin, a hunting cabin, a house, or if you simply want to make sure you have a constant water supply in case of power outages, then a TPP system can provide water pressure to your structure or your ranchette or anything else. The second most common would be small farms and for irrigation. From this, we can run either drip lines or sprinklers and water all our plants. It's a perfect setup for it because we can pump water into a large storage tank and then pressurize that water and send it out either to drip lines, sprinklers, or anywhere else it's needed. Like I mentioned before, we can also adjust the pressure really quickly for the output so we can switch from a sprinkler to drip irrigation with a couple of pushes of button. Third most common would be livestock watering. So we can take a central tank, we can fill that up with a solar pump, and then we can put our TVP system there. From there, it's like a classic water system. We can run our pipes out to our various tanks or livestock troughs and use classic float valves to keep them full. The TVP is gonna kick on anytime the livestock drink from those tanks, draw it down, and then it's gonna start to fill them up. If you have any solar questions, leave them in the comments below and they'll be featured in a future video or we'll answer them in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're producing new content every week, so hit that notification button and subscribe to the videos to stay up to date on the latest solar pumping news.